Hey guys, this is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, last time uh, we left off, we were in Alaska, freshly in Alaska with our Flea Star, scouting Flea Star by this point. And we were hunting for upgrades and new trucks and just uncovering the map. Uh, our goal in Alaska is to get uh, all the upgrades that we are not going to stick around here too much. We're going to be doing tasks if they're exactly in our uh, route. But we are not going to specifically, uh, you know, unlock paths or something. We we're just uh, prepping everything for the end game in Michigan. We really want to get Michigan solved. And to do Michigan, we kind of need the upgrades to get this, those ancient upgrades uh, because the mud is really kicking our asses and the weights are kicking our asses of the cargo we're supposed to be hauling it's really not um, going too well for us we've been having some success don't get me wrong but we've been struggling more than i would want and part of that is just um, not having the raw horsepower we need for it and that comes from engines and engines are in alaska apparently and that's why we are in Alaska. Right now we're gonna head up this hill a bit, get to the trailers here. Uh, we have a just a quick task to get here, get a bit of XP, and then we can be on our way. It's not that big of a detour, and we shouldn't have any issues with fuel, because it's quite possible after we get to BM-17, uh, it's quite possible we will just uh, return back to the garage, but we'll see. Either way, let's uh, get here. Okay, new trailer discovered. Sure, we don't really care. We care about the quest, the trailer park. Uh, do we not have trailer park unlocked? Okay, right. This is the old classic issue of, hey, the quest is here. Unless you actually get that quest, it doesn't matter if you are here. Is there any way to... Maybe maybe I'm just really thick. Maybe I'm just terribly, terribly thick. Mm -mm. There's no way to remotely activate this. Okay. Uh, it is what it is. We'll just uh, head back. And do what we want to do initially. Any fuel? And, uh, I never actually tried. Let's see if uh, that blue fuel tanker can be interacted with. I don't think so. I really don't think so, but might as well if we're here. Nah. I'm gonna get the shot. Maybe, maybe it's uh, something we can pick up. Saying maybe you know find a mod that uh, handles that allows us to remotely accept quests, but haven't even gotten a chance to uh, look for that to see if that's an option. I don't think so. So where are we going? Oh, weird. I just uh, had a look and thought we we're like completely. Going down another path. Actually, let's try turning off all wheel drive. Unless we really need it. Try to conserve some of that fuel because uh, I don't know what's uh, ahead of us. And it'd be kind of shitty to end up uh, out of fuel like uh, 10 meters away from uh, a new truck or an upgrade. All-wheel drive is that extra helping, but it doesn't. It's not always required. Differential lock uh, may matter more in some uh, situations. I think we're having a damned time getting through this. Uh, 
to abuse the trees around here. I mean, we are pushing almost 10 liters a minute. without even all-wheel drive active. I mean, uh, there is something to be said about uh, unlocking the new, some of the new trucks, because uh, some of them are more advanced, as in they have differential... Some may have differential lock fully active, even in auto, which is amazing. Um, some uh, may have uh, the all-wheel drive active all the time, which is less amazing for fuel consumption, but... here, wherever here is. Let's take this slow and easy. This looks rather murky and muddy. Mm, okay, it's that bad. It's all-wheel drive and let's stick to the, um, the sides here. Let's use a winch whenever we can. go through this thick mud. We do have some uh, better pathing up here. Okay, so uh, the upgrade is to the right here. Let's get that first and foremost. Again, the weight of the Fleet Star is working against us. We would rather be doing this with the Pace Star, which is a lighter truck. But uh, just the lack of uh, most of the upgrades that we need on the base star don't, doesn't help. It's like chain tires and I think we're going to raise suspension. Especially not in this snow. made this little square so small so you need to be exactly here okay engageable all-wheel drive for oh cool for the caterpillar ct680 uh we actually needed this uh, this was one of the main things why i didn't want to get a caterpillar out here instead of the fleet star so that's great i'm glad to have that uh, as an option an improper use of a winch, but... Now let's head up to that Royal BM-17. I don't even know what the Royal BM-17 is. Uh, heavy, heavy duty off-road truck, no idea. So let's have a look at the map, just make sure we're going the proper way. Okay. 
so it's somewhere behind these trees. Okay, well, I hope. Okay, Royal BM17, I cannot see you, but I assume you're cool. Okay, uh, it it's running. Uh, okay, running maybe more. Yeah, no, this is not working. Doesn't matter. Let's just actually let's do refuel. And let's fuel the Fleet Star with uh, the fuel from this truck, and then we can totally recover this for our garage. Let's check it out. Uh, okay, it. By stock, it comes with the 2300 C, which I think is the same as the one as the Caterpillar. It can mount an off-road gearbox, cool, uh, we do not have the race suspension, uh, and we cannot mount, uh, well, the big chain tires, we can mount the 47s, which is cool. So this is a, uh, oh, it's an off-road truck, interesting. But I guess it comes with the same problems that we had initially. That we have don't have the race suspension for this, and oh, where's the? It, it doesn't have a differential lock at all. Wow, and it does have all-wheel drive. Hmm, interesting. Again, I would rather get these engines because these engines are an upgrade for a lot of our trucks. But while we're here, let's do, let's customize this uh, cat. Yeah, again, same engines. Uh, so, oh, this has a stock suspension. Ew. Okay, so what was our problem with the cat? The problem with the cat was... Okay, it has all-wheel drive. Sorry, it has uh, an engageable differential lock, sure. Right, this was the problem. Now it has all-wheel drive, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, we are still not taking it out right now. Uh, we'll be continuing on with uh, the Fleet Star because it's already deep inside the Alaskan, Alaskan uh, wilderness. So, is there anything else here to do with uh, the Fleet Star on this corner of the map? I guess not. So, let's uh, just head up and out. Let's. Uh, Go back, go by here, activate trailer park, which ugh, is annoying because we just were there, but that's fine. Let's head back here, unlock this. I don't see any trailers for us to get any XP out of. Let's see if we can uh, hit that watchtower in a single go. Again, thankfully, it was nice that uh, that Royal PM had uh, some uh, juice in the tank. Could uh, yoink. You know, I'm, I'm just thinking, uh, it'd have been really horrible for we to need to recover this, I guess. Sometimes I do feel guilty just recovering, straight recovering. You know, these uh, big trucks from like some forgotten areas. I think maybe it'd have been nicer. It had like an option to, yeah, sure, get them out, but not necessarily to all the way to your parking, but just sort of some, you know, locations. Just put a bit of uh, effort into getting them past, just getting to the location itself. Not saying getting here was terribly easy, but we have done a lot harder things in the game, which we did them for less than a full intact truck. So yeah, between mud and snow, we are going with snow. I 
probably be going on the road by this point. I wanna climb that bank. Caterpillar doesn't have the um, raised suspension option and the Royal doesn't have the um, differential lock. I, I guess, you know, trucks become more specialized later on. I mean, the starting trucks are pretty much all good all-rounders. But I'm not sure I really like that super specialization. It matters less when you can just put more horsepower through your engine. I mean, fresh lock matters less and all-wheel drive matters less, I guess, when you can put the more power down on, uh, on the ground. But still, as it sits, they are weaker without any upgrades. current play star and fleet star. Okay, let's just head through this. It's probably a warehouse or something, yeah. Let's... Trailer park. Well, hi there. I'm just arrived. I need to get to trailer park to handle some uh, business, but I can't remember where it is. I have a general idea of the location, but nothing concrete. What do you say? I know exactly where it is because I have been there before. However, let's check our fuel usage. We're at 100 liters. Uh, this road is closed off. I mean, that road is closed off. The only way to actually get to the trailer park was with the road we came up on, which wasn't too great either. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm going to just leave this and not to do quest right now. Mm. Hmm. Or... I guess we could because the problem of fuel isn't exactly a problem if we refuel here at the trailer store. Uh, but that's still a long way around and I'm not sure if 400 liters will get us through it. I mean, it can. It... Hmm. Decisions, decisions. We do have the fueling station right here, right? We went all the way across. You know what? No. Let's stick to the original plan. Let's uh, get to this watchtower. That should be enough for us to actually come back, refuel here, and we'll see if we have the time and we will want to get the guy back. I do wonder why the functions don't automatically close when uh, you push WSCD or something. I mean, it's not like you can control the truck anyway in functions. Might as well just uh, auto-close them. I'm just gonna go through here relatively quickly. Yeah, maybe because there's some quest or something. You can accept. Local authorities just sent out a request for volunteers to take care of some downed power lines. Sounds pretty serious. To cover the cost and make it worth your while. Okay, sure, cool. Probably not gonna be doing it, but sure. Let's try not to bonk this too hard. idea what that was, but sure. Okay, time for 
something slower. Is this an actual practicable road? Well, practicable is a bit much, but... the heavy winch at this point, heavy medium winch. I'm wondering whether I should probably switch off the extended. It's nice, the range is really nice, but maybe sometimes I would uh, like to just uh, climb faster. But then again, if you don't have access to a, a winch point, it doesn't matter how strong your winch is, right? Eventually we'll have access to the advanced winch, which more or less com uh, is both strong and has a big range. Hmm. I'm wondering whether we should probably try and do this instead of whatever going through mucky route is there. Doesn't seem to be too bad. But let's uh, switch over to daytime, just because it will make it a bit easier to navigate all the trees. over to that uh... there we go we can great it'd be nice to have more of these uh, uh, points in the world where you can use them for winching opportunities Really, can we? No, we can't. Okay, let's go around. Totally just take a right here and we'll be where we want to be. Okay, can we just get ourselves back on track, please? Thank you. Let's go again. Probably with a stronger tree. No, I guess not. That tree is strong. Okay, and let's head out. We are running pretty low on fuel, which is a concern. It took us like uh, 40 liters to get here. Not sure if we'll have the 60 liters uh, to return to the fuel station. Hopefully this will not end in a recall, but we'll see. In uh, West Mountain Conquest, lost service trader discovered. Okay, uh, what I care about. Do we have any upgrades to be unlocked? We did not. Actually, let's drop the engine, save some uh, gas. Hmm. Okay. You know what we should probably be doing right now? Let's... Hmm. 
I'm wondering whether we should just head out for the second uh, watchtower. Maybe that would be a thing. Uh, the fuel station is further away than the watchtower and I don't think we have enough fuel to actually head back to the um, refueling station, especially given how the terrain is around here. So let's uh, try and head out for that watchtower and hope that uh, we'll be able to reach it. I'm gonna try to Spider-Man myself as, mu as much as I can. Just uh, save a bit of fuel. my old friend. Yep, I still hate you. Yeah, this is making some great speed over this really bad terrain. So much power in such a little truck. I'm surprised we didn't see any exits, did we? Any exits from the area. Oh yeah, there, there it is. But shouldn't there be like two of them? Passing you again. Wow, eesh. This is indeed a bad crossing. Kinda don't want to, but I have to. Uh, any trees we can use on the left hand side a bit, okay? So let's stick to the left hand side as much as we can. Oh, this isn't as bad as I think it was, thought it was. And. Now let's do all-wheel drive as much as I'd hate it, but we need the, we need the power. <laughs> that seemed a lot deeper. Spare, we're still technically stuck in the middle of nowhere, but with 30 liters available nonetheless. I'm not sure I'm gonna try pushing for the fueling station, to be fair. Okay, uh, ooh, we got an upgrade here a fuel carrier trailer. A fuel carrier trailer? So we can technically refuel. Let's, let's shut off the engine. We can technically refuel if we really, really want to. Interesting. So, let's try this. I'm not sure if we can cross here, but maybe we could save a bit of time fuel. Because if we can, we can just do this. Refuel here. 
then get this upgrade. Ooh, a Hummer. We have a Hummer here. Yeah, for sure we want that. So let's uh, try our bestest to refuel at this fuel carrier. It's not gonna be easy, but let's see if we can make it work, shall we? like worse crossing rather just head through this uh, shorter one okay uh, let's take it easy differential lock on and let's pulse the all-wheel drive let's not use it unless we have to 23 liters yes okay, so we're going down the right, right path What? Oh, I didn't notice. Turned out some very hard surfaces. I thought it was like a uh, muck. Anyways, let's keep this up. Perfect. That's enough for us to uh, actually refuel here once we find it. We'll cut our heads. There we go. Uh, refuel. Consuming some of that gas, and we're good. We're golden. We'll return the gas here. Maybe we'll need it in the future if we uh, end up not continuing our trek across uh, Alaska. Take this easy. It's annoying that the Hummer is on the other side, and I don't think we actually have the ability to get there. Okay, can we? Thankfully, we can winch ourselves on this uh, pipeline here. Okay, get upgrade. Westline V16 M2300. Not available for current truck, but I think this is for the. Ugh, for the twin steer. Ugh. And the Caterpillar 745C, which I don't think we have it unlocked yet. I think that's a, either a find or, or a higher level buy. So, uh, what are we doing here and what's the time? We still have a bit of time on the clock. I wonder whether we could cross this. You know what? Let's just give it a shot. Uh, let's Okay, let's not tip, huh? That'd be really bad. Again, the rocks making a mockery of us. How you turn around in Alaska? And let's give that a shot. Let's uh, dump some of this fuel. If we end up stuck, we don't want to waste uh, the fuel we just got from this. So uh, let's. Oh, wow. That's weird. That. Okay, we can do this. Yeah, okay, there we go. So seven liters should be enough. Should be enough? Yeah, should be enough. 
Just for the sake of it, let's get another 60. Okay, are, what, what are we doing here? Are we taking it via this, these rocks? Can we? Does that look feasible? I'm not sure that's feasible. Not with this high guard. Okay, is it a better option just to go via the uh, side of the pipeline? I think it is. It's gonna be really bad. I mean, so with the pipeline, we can at least uh, winch ourselves onto it. ourselves tethered like we're climbing a, a rock a rock face okay. I know I may be being a bit too safe with this but you know what Pearson, the local, the local factory, has gone and lost his car again. He somewhere fell down from a bridge due to a driver error. See if you can find the car and take it to a nearby parking lot. Oh, really? Delivered the parking Hummer H2. Oh, god. Uh, either way, I think that's going to be the next episode, guys. Uh, we will also be picking up this upgrade on our way and delivering this. I don't know if we have the fuel for it. I hope. Wait, we can't, can we? Because uh, we have uh, a, the pipeline here that's, uh, that's crashed. Oh, no. Again, that's a problem for the next episode. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this <laughs> this Alaskan episode, uh, click like, get subscribed, all that good stuff. Share, comment, uh, and I will see you guys in the next one.